What's good, Uncle Fools? Welcome back to the Watch McQueen channel, man. Yes, sir, we are back, man. I hope you guys are having a great day. Today is Saturday, man. You know what I'm saying? What am I going to do with my Saturday? Well, I spent it, you know, already completely focusing on myself. You know, putting all my energy into myself. You know, not no bitches. Not no none of this. Not no none of that. None of this. Putting it into myself. I say all this to say, Aqua Force, you guys need to do the exact same thing. Because if you guys want to be very successful, it requires you to put all of your attention on yourself. The biggest problem that I felt growing up and had to deal with growing up, and, you know, even in my early 20s and this and that, and even, you know, I, I would say I kind of started just really healing from it maybe a year and a half ago, is that this world will make you feel like you're selfish putting yourself first yeah boys yeah, the, the niggas want to go out to the club nah man I'm trying to go to the gym tomorrow morning so I don't want to go to the now nah, come on man stop being selfish your girl's arguing with you and she's arguing about nonsense you know it's nonsense she knows it's nonsense deep down but she's just being a woman so she's going to keep trying to get a reaction out of you and your response is I'm not giving this attention. I'm going to walk away. When you calm down, we can talk. You're selfish. Listen to me, Aqua Force. You are not selfish for protecting your peace. You're not selfish for wanting to be the best version of you at any at 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 all, at all times. Okay? That is how you grow. All successful people have mastered this skill, and I want you guys to master it too, okay? It takes time, but you need to take the first step today. I believe in you. If I was able to do it, so can you, you know? Let's all grow together, Uncle Forrest. Let's keep evolving, all right? Some words of inspiration, okay? How viral TikTok video almost got a husband caught up? Man! See? It's niggas like this that's giving us a, bla a bad name, man. I said, is it, I was about to say it's the niggas like this. <laughs> It's niggas like this is giving us a black name, but no, they are giving us a bad name, you know? Damn, why are niggas cheating out here, man? It's crazy. A TikTok entanglement. He was very flirtatious, so let me see like, if I can maybe find him. This woman wanted to find a mystery man she met on the beach. She found him all right, and it's a wait, TikTok wait, wait. entanglement. He was very flirtatious, so let me see like, if I can maybe find him. This woman wanted to find a mystery man she met on the beach. She found him all right, and his wife. He's now clearing things up with the shape room after it nearly ruined his marriage. I'm Justin Carter. This is T.S. Fuck, is a gay ass nigga, man. <laughs> this is where his marriage. After it almost ruined his marriage. Why did he roll into the into the... You know, y'all see how he rolled into the, the frame like that? After it nearly ruined his marriage. marriage. I'm Justin Carter. This is TSR Investigates. Last month, Misha Renee went on TikTok asking the world to help her find this mystery man she met in Miami in August. But things got messy when the world collectively found out who he really is. Eight million people watched Misha Renee's TikTok with the caption saying, quote, TikTok, help me find this man I met in Miami. He walked right in the ocean to introduce himself to me. I was lit when he gave me his number. I'm counting on y'all. Hopefully he ain't married. The only reason why I did it is because I was on TikTok and I seen the popular trend that was help me find him. It was just simply just to reconnect. So the nigga, the nigga, the nigga, hold up, man. With the captions, in people watch Misha Renee's TikTok with the caption saying, quote, TikTok, help me find this man I met in Miami. He oh walked my right God. in the ocean to introduce himself to me. I was lit when he gave me his number. I'm counting on y'all. Hopefully he ain't married. The only reason why I did it is because I was on TikTok and I seen the popular trend that was help me find him. It was just simply just to reconnect. It wasn't anything more. Oh, but he is married for six years, in fact, with four kids. I tracked him down. This mystery man is Aiden Giles from the Detroit area. He had no idea the video was posted at first. It was his wife, Cherie, who says somebody text her about the video. We just immediately started arguing because I started immediately started cussing him out. Like, bro, you really got me messed up. And I kept asking, I said, did you sleep with him? He Look at he's no. smiling. So she messages Misha directly. I said, did you sleep with him? 
She said, no, we literally only met at the beach and that was it. So I'm like, well, you looking for him this hard. Obviously, it was something to y'all. She's like, is that your man? I said, not no more. <laughs> not anymore. <laughs> and then she was like, um, if you don't mind me asking, like, who are you? I said, that's my husband. She says Misha apologized immediately in their messages saying, quote, sis, I'm sorry. I had no clue something would happen. I wish the best. Nigga, well, first of all, you, this girl should not be apologizing. The nigga should be apologizing. This girl was completely unaware that this nigga was married. Completely unaware of his, what, bro, niggas gotta, I swear to God, if she had DM me on that bullshit, I promise you I would not have responded. Maybe I would have trolled a little bit, in fact, you know? Cause it's like, bro, you niggas, you gotta stop getting mad at the other person. When your loyalty is with the motherfucker that cheated on you. What's wrong with y'all niggas? Everybody wanna pop off on the wrong person, man. She crazy. That's for you and your kids. I won't be reaching out to him. I told her, I'm like, so you can have him. I'm good. It was disrespectful. Mm -hmm. Was it cheating? No, it was not cheating. No. But it was mm -hmm. disrespectful because you're a married man. It's certain ways you move and it's definitely certain ways you don't. I did not know he was married. Is it not cheating? I mean, look at this. Just look at it. He walked in the ocean to introduce himself to me. They holding hands, looking like they just having the time of their life. Put it into perspective. If you had a girlfriend and you were on TikTok and you sw well, you swiping and whatnot, and then out of nowhere, you see a video of a nigga Making a TikTok with your girl in the ocean, just like these niggas are right here, pos positioned just like this, is holding hands and whatnot. And the caption said, y'all, please let me find this woman that's that we threw. She came up to me and, and, and said what's up to me. She walked inside the ocean to come up and say something to me, you know, and introduce herself. That, and he got my number. So is that not cheating, fellas? Because these women are quick to sit there and call that cheating for us. I don't know what the... I mean, hey. Is that not cheating? Y'all let me know in the comments, man. Let me know. Because I... <laughs> if I find my girl doing that... Oh, oh, oh! It's over. It's over. Not fucking with that. Nope. I'm saying, quote... TikTok helped me find this man I met in Miami. He walked right in the ocean to introduce himself to me. I was lit when he gave me his number. I'm counting on y'all. Hopefully he ain't married. The only reason why I did it is because I was on TikTok and I seen the pop. Let's go back, my fault. I know he was ahead. Had I known he was married, none of this would even be a thing. It would just be like, okay, let's move on. Because if the shoe was on the other foot. You'd be mad. Because yeah. Aiden, you know, everybody is looking and you know, not only you're a good looking guy, you got the muscle. Man, don't tell me that, nigga. I said, that's my husband. Apologized immediately in their messages saying, quote, sis, I'm sorry. I had no clue something would happen. I wish the best for you and your kids. I won't be reaching out to him. I told her, I'm like, sis, you can have him. I'm good. It was disrespectful. Mm -hmm. Was it cheating? No, it was not cheating. No. But it was mm -hmm. disrespectful because you're a married man. It's certain ways you move and it's Definitely certain ways you don't. I did not know he was married. Had I known he was married, none of this would even be a thing. It would just be like, okay, let's move on. Because if the shoe was on the other foot. I'll be pissed. You'd be I mad. Because Ada, you know, everybody is looking and you know, not only you're a good looking guy, you got the muscle, the Miami muscles and you- Nigga, first, bro, don't, 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 you know, no. Don't, don't, don't talk to me about that, brother. Because you, you too sweet to be complimenting me on my, on my looks, okay? Stop it. Stop it. I got a wife. You know, I almost had a side bitch. Hey, I don't need no compliments from no gay nigga. Especially one that works for the shade room. Okay, keep it to yourself, brother. Okay. Hugging her tight. And so everybody is looking at that. I know. And and that's, it sucked because I knew the video looked so bad. And I told her, I wish I could put you in that moment because it was nothing like the video made it look. From her point of view, she said that you asked her for her phone number and invited her out. This nigga makes me feel uncomfortable, bro. He does. 
This thing is making me very uncomfortable. You, she said that you asked her for her phone number and invited her after. And then she also said that um, she lost your number, and that's why mm-hmm. you looked to TikTok to try to yeah. find her. Yeah, honestly, no. And you know, he looks like a a a, a, a gay, handsome, ice JJ fish, nigga. She also said that um, <laughs> she lost your number, and that's why he looked to TikTok to try to yeah. find you. Yeah, honestly, no. She didn't have my name. She didn't even have my real name. I didn't even know they were recording either. So it, that threw me way off. Mm-hmm. <laughs> All right, Sheree, you rolling your eyes. <laughs> because it's hard to say you don't you don't know someone's recording you and you posing for a camera. Did. I posed for the picture. I didn't the pose picture. for the camera. The because and the pic and the pic was an innocent pic. I feel like it was in his understanding concern. I'm not even about to get back on that topic. So yeah, she kicked me over the head. I get it. It was disrespectful for my marriage and my wife. I get it. But in my head as a man, I'm kind of like, it was so little and innocent. Like, babe, it wasn't nothing like that. Cherie says it took weeks to figure things out and truly understand what happened that day. I know what type of man I married. I didn't marry a cheater. I would have never married him if he, he was a cheater. Um, but after talking to my parents and praying with them and just trying like wrapping my mind around it, I, and I kept saying, like, I don't want to make an emotional decision. Just... Oh, it's a permanent decision of temporary emotion. Sheree realizing how a nine-second video on TikTok can change everything. She and Aiden will be starting counseling next week. Did you suggest the marriage counseling because of this situation, or would you have chosen to do this if this didn't happen? This situation, it definitely it broke the trust I have for him. So I suggested it. Aiden, what have you learned? What have you learned, sir? Oh, the number one. Thing. I would have learned not to talk to your gay ass, man. You know, like, uh, <laughs> you know how, like, uh, in, like, you know, space movies or when they're, like, communicating each other on, like, FaceTime thing in, the spa- in, the, in, like, the spaceship, and then, like, when they hang up, it's like, zoop, you know what I'm saying, like, the TV script. That's what it would look like. I'm not talking to your gay ass no more. <laughs> That's what I learned, nigga. <laughs> Hey, if you are a married man, please keep women six feet away from you on any beach possible. Okay? Nigga, you walked up to her. You walked up to her. She was plenty of feet away from you, brother. This bald ass nigga just. <laughs> she was plenty. Matter of fact, she was plenty of feet. She was plenty of everything. She was in the ocean, nigga. That's how many feet she was away from you. This nigga talking like as if she just all up in his shit. Walked up the hill. Come on, man. Hey, I will, I will side with my niggas. But when they don't make sense, it don't make sense, my nigga. I want um, other couples and married couples just to see how all this unfolds. Whatever y'all go through, if y'all strong enough, y'all can get through it. You know, like if you strong enough, put God first, you can get through it. Aiden says he's never been a cheater. There's never been infidelity within his marriage. He does say that he... I look like a retarded gay nigga. And I know like... Yeah, why? Why? This is the gayest reporter I've ever, ever ever come across. Nigga. He sounds like one of the news reporters. Back to you. Channel News, NBC, Channel 5. But normally those are just really white niggas, you know? Back to you, Stacey. And this nigga's back to you. Yeah. Is excited for counseling, and his wife, Cherie, says he really doesn't have a choice. Yeah. For TSR Investigates, I'm yeah. Justin Carter. Yeah, you're, yeah. That nigga, I hope I never have to come across that nigga again, man. That was very uncomfortable, okay? And if he's sitting there trying to, if I'm that bald nigga, and he's trying to sit there and talk to me. First of all, you compliment on my muscles. You call me handsome. And then you doing all of this. Why are you talking to me? What did you learn, Justin? No. I'm hanging up. All right, man. That's it for this video, man. Make sure you guys like it. Make sure you guys subscribe.